This is the XTU J9 1080p battery powered doorbell camera. First we'll take a look at what comes in the box, then we'll install the app together, then I'll show you the footage captured. This is what's information is inside the manual, pause and read any sections if you need to. It also comes with these two security stickers to warn people that you have a camera. And here we have the warranty card with some more information. Now let's take a look at the doorbell itself. The camera is mostly made of plastic and it's also in a plastic housing which you'll mount to the wall and then clip the main body of the doorbell into the housing. We have the option to stick this to the wall or to screw it to the wall. First I remove the plastic film. You can see the 1080p camera at the top, the PAR sensor, the microphone below that and the button. Now I pull out a bag out of the box where we have wall plugs and screws allowing you to screw this to a wall. We also have three sticky strips. This allows us to stick the doorbell to a smooth surface or you can use the sticky strips and then screw it to the wall also. Also comes with a USB to micro USB charging cable for when you need to recharge the built-in battery. Also comes with this unlocking pin which allows you to push into a hole at the bottom of the doorbell to remove the doorbell from the housing when you need to charge it. Where you can also see at the bottom of the doorbell there's gaps for the speaker that allows you to speak out of the doorbell for when you're having a two-way conversation. This is what the housing looks like which you'll mount to the wall once the main body of the doorbell is removed and we'll attach our double-sided adhesive strips in these gaps. Now we're going to take a look at the side of the doorbell. This is where you'll find the reset button and the micro USB port to charge the doorbell. There's also an indicator light just to the right of that. Behind the next rubber cover next to that you can insert up to a maximum of 128 gigabyte micro SD card to store your footage but you also have the option to store your footage to the cloud if you wish to do it that way. When the doorbell is charging you'll see a solid red light and when the battery is full it will change to a solid blue light. Now I'm going to look to stick the outer housing onto a smooth surface next to the front door. It is suggested to mount the doorbell at least 4 feet which is 120 centimeters above the ground for an optical angle of view. This company does sell a corner mount but you have to buy that separately. Now you want to download the Cloud Edge app. I already have this app for another doorbell, but it'll ask you to set up, then fill in your email address and create a password, then go to your email and activate the account, come back to the app and go add device, and you'll see this page where you want to click on smart video doorbell, keep the doorbell on your phone close to the router, hold down the button to turn the doorbell on, you'll see a red light flashing if you don't press the reset button, then you're ready to press next on the screen, then choose your Wi-Fi router and put in the password. Select the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and enter your password. The QR code on your phone, you're going to hold 5 to 8 inches away from the camera on the doorbell. Once you hear that sound, the doorbell camera will start connecting to the app. Please wait a moment. Here you can read the install guides as you keep pressing next through these steps. Connecting. Here it shows you your Wi-Fi strength and shows you what it can see on the camera. Now we're all set up, we can press done. Then you have an option of a family name or what room, but this is obviously going to be at the front door. Then click on the image of the doorbell. Now the camera's all good to go. We can mount this in the housing that's on the wall. Now let's take a look at some of the different settings on the app itself. First we'll look at the motion detection. You can turn this on or off. You can change the sensitivity. Screenshot will just save an image of what's on the screen. Pressing the record button will save a short clip of what the camera can see. Press the record button again to stop and that will save those clips into the album section. You can also save them to your phone and share them. The siren button is going to play a loud sound out of the speaker of the doorbell which we'll test out in a moment. Now where it says original sound you can change the sound of your voice. And the first option is a clown. Hello, Hello? Put a parcel on the ground. Now we'll have a look at the sound of uncle. Yes, come back. Put a parcel on the door. Who are you? This is testing out original. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Just in the mic. Now here you have the option to save your footage to the cloud. You can press to activate that, where you can have a seven day free trial. And you can also change your storage plan, where you can see the options here. If you press the settings cog in the top right corner, you'll see a bigger list of settings. I'm going to click on a few just to show you the options you have. 
and to show you what sort of adjustments can be made. This doorbell didn't come with a chime, but you can buy that separately. Here you can record a voice message. Here you have the battery management. Here you see the micro SD card capacity. When viewing the camera, you can change from HD to SD, as you'll see the quality change here. On motion detection, if you go to alarm area, you can mark off areas of the image where you don't want the motion detection to be detected. Now we'll test out the two-way audio. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Testing, one, two, testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yeah, loud and clear. This is the audio recorded to one of the doorbell clips. Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Here's some of the footage captured in a couple of days with the motion detection turned on. If you go on messages, select the doorbell, you can view all the short clips of the motion detection and for when the doorbell is pressed. Click on the image to watch it back, which takes you to this history tab where you can scroll through the timeline where all the recorded sections are marked in green. The doorbell button lights up blue when motion is detected or for when the doorbell is pressed. This also records at night, which you'll see in black and white. This doorbell has an IP66 waterproof rating and has a built-in 4800 rechargeable lithium battery, which could last up to two to three months from fully charged. And the motion detection and night vision detection has a distance of up to 10 meters. When the doorbell is pressed, you can click on that notification, which you'll then see a screen like this, where you can answer the doorbell. When you want to turn the doorbell off, you can just hold down the power button for around four seconds and then the indicator light will go red. And you can do the same just to turn the doorbell back on. You can't add mains power to this doorbell, but they say you can add a solar panel to help recharge the battery, which will be through the micro USB port. And this doorbell can be used for iOS or Android. Thanks for watching. I'll leave links and information in the description below. Subscribe and like. Welcome to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.